Hi there, Luke here with another video. For those of you unfamiliar with our channel, my husband Tyler and I make weekly travel videos where we document our experiences since moving from North America to the UK. If you caught our last video, we featured some of our favorite towns in the central region of Portugal, whereas in this video, we're gonna feature some of our favorite towns in the northern region of Portugal. If you enjoy our videos, be sure to give a comment, like, subscribe, and leave a tip with the super thanks button as that does help support this channel. With our first highlight of the northern region of Portugal, I want to talk about the Aroca Bridge. We personally reached the Aroca Bridge within the Aroca Geopark from the city of Coimbra. For those of you who are unfamiliar with geoparks, a geopark is a park with a geological heritage of exceptional importance and is recognized as such by the European Network and the UNESCO Global Geoparks Network. The Aroca Geopark became recognized by UNESCO in the year 2009. We chose this location specifically to hike along the Passa de Sus do Paiva, or the Paiva Walkways. The Paiva Walkways are a series of eight kilometer wooden footpaths through the geopark and along the river Paiva. The walk is relatively easy, taking about two and a half hours. There are a couple ways to access this walkway, but we personally chose to access it by the nearby town of Alvaringa, which has parking for your car. And we proceeded to go to the meeting point at the 516 Aroca Suspension Bridge. The Aroca Suspension Bridge is the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in the world. This is just a great area to enjoy some natural scenery, not just the bridge itself, but even the walks that you have towards the bridge as well as after the bridge are well worth taking your time to enjoy and were definitely a highlight of our time in Portugal. So while I wouldn't say that this is a place that is super high on the tourist map yet, I can definitely see that it could be in the future. Do be aware that most of the things that we booked, it was all in Portuguese. So if you don't speak Portuguese, definitely set the Google Translate option on because there may be details that you miss. All of our correspondence was in Portuguese, which is a good sign that it is not over touristed as of yet. We finished our walk at the town of Ispunca, and from there we took a taxi back to Alvarenga where our car was parked. Another area worth mentioning in northern Portugal is the city of Braga. Braga is Portugal's third largest city and is considered the oldest city in Portugal, as well as one of the world's oldest Catholic cities. Braga is known for its religious heritage and events. To the east, the Bom Jesus de Monte complex has a neoclassical church atop an elaborate 17 flight stairway, which totals 577 steps. If climbing all the way up is not for you, then there is the world's oldest water-powered funicular that can take you all the way to the summit. 
I would personally say that this monument was the highlight for us to visiting Braga. This sanctuary is a notable example of Christian pilgrimage and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Bon Jesus do Mante was commissioned by Dom Rodrigo de Maura Telos, the Archbishop of Braga in the year 1723, though a chapel had stood on the hill since the late 14th century and had become a place of pilgrimage. Pilgrims were encouraged to make the ascent to the Bon Jesus do Mante Basilica at the top of the hill on their knees, thus experiencing the pain of Christ on his way to his death. The summit of the hill is now a park with numerous caves, chapels, fountains, grottos, lakes, lookout points, and several hotels. While looking at this, you may wonder if this is a bit far away from the city center. It couldn't be farther from the truth, and we easily accessed it by local city bus. For those of you who are not using a car while traveling around Portugal, do be aware that Braga is easily accessible by public transport, especially by train from the major city of Porto. The final town that we want to highlight in the northern Portuguese region is Guimarães. Unfortunately, when we were there, it was a bit rainy, so that did affect what we could do, but I do want to mention it because it is worthwhile visiting if you get the chance. Guimarães is known for its well-preserved medieval buildings, like the hilltop 10th century Guimarães Castle with its sweeping city views. We also visited the pretty Igreja de Nossa Senhora da Oliveira, which is a late 15th century church featuring gothic architecture and ornate baroque artwork inside. While it was admittedly rainy, we did enjoy walking around the cute old town and historic buildings, which have been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since the year 2001. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. Hopefully we inspired you to visit Northern Portugal. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give a comment, like, subscribe, and leave a tip with the super thanks button if so inclined. It's super helpful for this channel. And I hope that you stay tuned for our next and final video of Portugal, which is visiting the Algarve. See you there. Bye.